Uh, good evening, everybody. This is the uh, February 12th meeting of the of the Nottingham Conservation Commission. Sam, is uh, that on? Yes, it is. Uh, the oh. I don't the TV, but. Uh, no. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I put it on. Uh, maybe, I, maybe this is. It might be recording, but maybe TV just isn't on. That thing's moving. Okay. So it's now pointing at us again. <laughs> is there an on off for the monitor? Because it's usually on. Yeah, so it's, yeah it's on. It's on. I just, I just put it on. Uh, it's getting no signal. Hmm. I don't know. Well, Hopefully, uh, we're, we're, we're being recorded. Yes. Uh, my name is Sam DeMerritt. I chair the Conservation Commission. <laughs> Uh, uh, let's see, let's go around this way, I guess. Uh, to my far left <laughs> is Raylene Chippy Rice. Uh, to her right is Paul Benoliotis. To his, my immediate left is Susan Mooney, the secretary. To my immediate right is Deb Kimball, the vice chair. To her right is uh, Cheryl Smith. And then there's. Uh, <laughs> <Just a moment. laughs> and, then, and then we have alternate Liz Katowski. Oh boy. Um, we just finished the public hearing with the Board of Selectmen on the uh, to uh, uh, take out uh, up to sixteen thousand. Uh, Thirty dollars and twenty-five cents from the Nottingham, from the Nottingham, you know, the conservation fund uh, for the uh, Kenner easement on, uh, which is Map Eleven, Lot Six, which the town owns, and uh, we bought with the intention of putting an easement on it. The town will be voting to proceed with the easement at uh, uh, on the ballot um, uh, in March. Uh, Looks like we have some people here. Uh, oh, we got uh, Dr. Dale Rice is, is here as a guest. And it's Peter White and... William Simone, or Simone, Simone? Simone. Shimone. 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 Uh, I'll answer anything close. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay, <clears throat> and they're here with the uh, Water, Nottingham Water Alliance. And I think they'd like to have a few minutes to talk to us. Uh, do you want to come up closer to use the mi microphone? And we can share this, this mic here. We can move. Thank you. All right, thank you for having us tonight. Uh, we're here just to inform the Conservation Commission about Article 19, which is for a new community-based, uh, I'm sorry, community rights ordinance for the town of Nottingham. And as you know, we passed one in 2008 to prevent commercial water extraction, which has protected our town water supplies. And now we, the latest one is to um, uh, um, ban toxic waste dumping in Nottingham and to strengthen our existing community uh, rights ordinance just to make it a stronger legal document. So I have uh, handouts uh, yes. that we can hand you out. And I do too. Uh, and I'll, I'll start on this side. Way, um, I'll pass five, which are going out to all the residents of Nottingham. Did I look? In the mail this week. I think I just got mine today in the mail. Yeah. Thank you. Good. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Paul, did you get that too? Uh, yeah, I got one over okay. here. Okay. Yeah. Take a copy for the records. Yeah, take it for the records. Uh, Good This will give you more information about this ordinance, but I, I think I already summed it up. And um, as you know, the you know, community rights movements growing stronger in New Hampshire and across the country. There's 14 communities in New Hampshire now that have passed local ordinances for different 
community rights and to protect the rights of nature, to, you know, to protect the uh, public health, welfare, as well as their <coughs> natural um, environment in their different <coughs> forms. And um, the town of Plymouth just recently passed a community, community rights ordinance that's uh, banning toxic dumping as well as banning um, high tension power lines. And there was a number of towns up along the Northern Pass corridor that passed community rights ordinances, which helped lead the public opposition to that. So once again, our premise is that every town should have control over major developments that's going to impact the health, safety, and welfare of our town and our natural environments. So this um, latest one to uh, ban toxic waste dumping in Nottingham is just the latest effort to you know, protect our natural environment and protect our groundwater. Um, uh, I'd like to just say a few words. I know in a lot of ways we're preaching to the choir because you wouldn't be here if you weren't interested in water and water is the most important thing that we have where our, our cells, our bodies are between 50 and 60 percent water. Our brains are between 80 and 90 percent water. So water is real important. And I don't know all that many people who live in Nottingham, like we do, that only drink bottled water hmm. as their own choice. We all have wells, and the wells are connected to the underground aquifers. Um, back 10 years ago, CellDef, who's the organization who's um, spearheading a lot of um, uh, community-based rights, advised the people, this is before I was here, um, that we needed to protect our water, and sure enough, they were right, and what the town did protected um, Nottingham from having uh, toxic waste pumped into the ground to get water out to sell it to somewhere else. It's, it's an old story, you already know it, you don't need me to tell you. Um, I, I know that your time is uh, very important and very limited. Um, when I was in Goffstown, I lived in Goffstown, which is on the other side of um, Manchester, of course you know that. I was on the Conservation Commission there for about 16 years. I know the good work that you do for free. It's a citizen's board, and this is how, it, um, how things happen and th how things are protected. Um, in the state of New Hampshire. I, I was also a member of the Piscataquag Watershed Association. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of it, because it was over on that side, but it was started by uh, Gordon Russell, who was a conservationist at St. A's, and uh, Gordon knew everything about everything, and was a wonderful man, and he taught me an awful lot. Um, their organization ended up putting over 7,000 um, acres and trusts. Uh, I happen to be on a member of, of the PWA and I ended up on the board because I thought the mission of protecting water, going back to this is what your body's predominantly made up of mm -hmm. and it's so important for you, for your children, for your grandchildren. But like I said, I'm preaching to the choir here. Um, I think the important thing is, uh, on I, also I, I work for a town government so I know a little bit how important the people participating in committees like this are to every town for it to be able to manage the way it should. Um, I believe that um, when we come to the town meeting, um, there'll be a, a lot of people in favor of um, a, another rights-based ordinance because when I was getting signatures down at the transfer station, I would just get into my speech and people would say, I know about this, this was eight years ago and it's, of course it's probably gotten worse because of the way laws have become a little bit Swiss cheese-ish, mm -hmm. not to say or um, uh, defame Swiss cheese because I like <laughs> Swiss cheese. <laughs> but it, it was a good way to put it that um, I think sometimes the factors that are after the bottom line try to find any little opening, um, just like water in winter finds any little opening, gets in there and it freezes and all of a sudden you have frost heaves and your driveway starts to go and your road starts to go. Um, but I think that 
Nottingham is the type of place that can protect against sludge, because this is the new hole in the Swiss cheese mm -hmm. that we've been warned about. Um, and I'll, I'll um, tell you one quick story, and then I'll shut up. Um, we just heard from Saldef of a town in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania's c constitution does not have the abilities that New Hampshire's constitution has, because ours is older, and we can put in these rights-based ordinances. The people voted almost 100% to keep a sludge dumping company from pumping sludge water that was so toxic it was no longer useful in the fracking machine equipment, that it would destroy the equipment. This was as dirty as it could get. So they bought up some property that had well access, and they started pumping it in and they could not be stopped because the law said no, unless the um, state of uh, Pennsylvania decides that this shouldn't be too bad, so sad, you lose, and that's part of your life. Mm. Well, we have a much happier story here and a much better constitution, and, and I think that we'll be able to fill that Swiss hole, Swiss cheese hole, and protect our ourselves and our children, and our children's children into the future. To summarize, an ounce of prevention is worth more than a pound of cure, and that's mm -hmm. what this is, an ounce of prevention. Yeah. So is this, so this isn't, this is just about the ordinance that what's the top in red is, right. so, um, is there a sheet on the actual wording for the ordinance? Is that somewhere here, or is that still being drafted up, the actual? No, the ordinance has actually been drafted and printed, and a whole number of um, uh, prints have been made. Um, and if you'd like some sent, um, I think Gail and Chris um, today were um, getting them all collated. This is what's being mailed. Um, to the um, citizens of Nottingham. And I believe we have to read, it's a 17 page, if I'm not correct. No, I'm not, I'm not sure the number of pages. It's got a seven in it. See the mm -hmm. 70 or 700. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's only 17. <laughs> Hopefully but it's we, not 700. Yeah, but we have to read that um, at the town meeting because you can't vote on an ordinance unless you have the whole 100% text of the audience. We'll have. Um, copies available. But if you'd like, we can make sure that you get a copy, um, each of you, of what the ordinance says. Oh, that be seen says. online. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Online. yeah. it'll be in the warrant, too. And yeah, uh, Chris and Gail yeah. Mills has, can send you copies of it. So I, I guess what it is is, so it's one thing to have the, the, uh, the ordinance, and so the ordinance itself is, is rather lengthy. Um, yeah. However, what I, th what I think, and, and it's unfortunate, that's missing on here is specifically to tell the folks what what warrant article number this is? Oh, that came out as an informational sheet, but we, we're actually going to have a yeah. public meeting on Thursday, uh, okay. February 22nd. Yeah. But a lot of people don't go to public meetings, so having on something like Absolutely. this what yeah. the warrant right. article number is, I think, is yeah. had, kind of an old Had we known before, yeah. when we created that what the number was going to be, you bet it would have been right up on top. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's Real good important. Point, Has the but Board of Selectmen... Um, voted in favor of this warrant article? Uh, I don't think they're taking positions on non-monetary warrant articles okay. this year. Okay. Yeah, I, I attended the, the meeting on the, uh, on the warrant articles uh, last Monday, and they said they were not going to take any positions on the, uh, one, uh, on the warrant articles that were by petition, so. Yeah. Well, one, one last... Uh, answer to a criticism that no one's brought up right yet, but they, someone probably would. What if I want to spray Roundup on the crabgrass in my yard? What if I want to put fertilizer in my yard? This is my yard. I own it. This does not inhibit that at all. It does not inhibit any owners of companies. Let's say you, you've got a greens company or maybe you're growing flowers or doesn't inhibit anybody from doing something like that. It inhibits the pollution by um, toxic waste 
and buying property for that purpose, to dump toxic waste here to make money off of our children's future. And um, one thing I, I, I do know and I can say for certain, having lived outside of Boston, you probably hear my accent, I had relatives that lived in Woburn. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody knows the story of Woburn's water and the <coughs> highest rate of, uh, I think it was leukemia um, in, the, in the New England area that was denied for years and years by W.R. Grace. So, so this, this doesn't necessarily protect, for yes. example, the rivers or streams from toxic, toxic runoff from property. Uh, no, un unfortunately, it, it doesn't, but I'm not sure that um, that would really uh, pass. I, I no, live on... No, I know, it was just a clarification. Yes, if I can, it prevents the said. dumping of toxic waste that would cause that runoff, so there shouldn't be any there in the first place. Yeah, and, but um, I, I live on um, North River Lake, and I do the water monitoring there. Um, it's my turn to be the active guy, active citizen, myself and a neighbor. Um, so we do test our waters there, um, and a lot of the people don't put fertilizer. I haven't used fertilizer since I moved to Gosstown, just for that reason. Because, well, you know, <laughs> you learn it once; it's not the kind of thing you forget about. And um, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and tell you when I find poison ivy in a spot, I don't get rid of it. I, because I do. Because I've. I've got a high allergy to poison ivy, as do my children. Um, but that's not, that's not the same thing um, as a company coming in, dumping Does sludge. Can define what the toxic waste is? Like, what's the, what will be the umbrella under toxic waste? Yes, if you want, I can read you the definition that's in the ordinance. So it's toxic waste includes, but is not limited to, waste products from petroleum refining or pesticide manufacturing, discarded pesticides or pharmaceuticals, sediment sludge, wastewater treatment sludge, heavy metals, chemical residue from manufacturing processes, biomedical waste, mining residuals, radioactive waste, or any other waste material that poses a, a present or potential hazard to human health or the environment. Okay, so a question that I have on that is, so if you're talking about sludge, but are you also talking about MSW, so municipal solid waste? So, an, uh, for instance, an, an organic approved, um, actually I actually don't know if it's organic approved, um, fertilizer that's a, that y is used on lawns is called malorganite, and it is MSW. So would that ordinance then prohibit a homeowner who's been using MSW for years and putting MSW on their lawn? No, no we, we talked about that actually with the, the attorneys of Seldef, and they said if people want to do such, that, they can amounts. use it. Yeah. So is Some there an amount? So when it says dumping, is there like who and how much? What does that mean? Like toxic waste dumping. So that refers to uh, someone dumping a gallon. Um, I don't know, I, is, or is it the big time? It refers to any corporation or other business entity organized under the laws of any state. So I think they're looking at more larger quantities mm -hmm. by bigger companies so, that could yeah. pose a threat uh, to the environment. Yeah. I don't think an individual no. homeowner provides a threat to the environment not for their personal use. Or if there were an office complex with uh, a dentist, an architect, and a um, antique shop and they were trimming the bushes and fertilizing the lawn. It doesn't affect them. That's they've been doing this all along. So it's, it's, it's not meant to get into everybody's rights and right. destroy everybody's rights. It's, it's meant to protect people's lives. People will yeah, well, these are good, yeah. good questions, yeah. yeah. The other question that I have is it's, it's really talking about Land acquisition. So if somebody is purchasing land with the intent to either do water withdrawal or, or have toxic waste disposal. So it, in both of these, it talks about land acquisition. Yeah. What about pieces of property that are already owned um, and they're not acquisition and someone decides that this is what they're now going to do? So you're not, you're not 
It's not a land acquisition with that intent. Good point. It's well, a change it still be, that activity would still be banned. You know, once okay. again, we all own land in, in Nottingham already, but we couldn't use that land for toxic waste dumping, yeah. even though we already own it. So another business or corporation, yeah, they can buy land you know, in general, but if it's for the specific purpose of yeah. violating our ordinance, that would be banned. So whose yeah. job is it to enforce this? The uh, selectman and the code enforcement officer. Yeah. And uh, any town approved ordinance, the selectmen are bound to enforce it. But your, your question does the term land acquisition. If a company already bought a piece of property and it has a primary intent to do something else, 10 years down the road it decided to do, is that what you're asking? Yes. Could they then do it because they already own the land and they're not acquiring it, they already own it, and now they're just changing sure. the purpose of That's it. That's a good question. No, w they wouldn't be. Would, would, would that have to go to the ZBA um, because they um, now have decided that, you know, instead of a french fry stand and an ice cream stand, they're going to have a toxic waste disposal dump? No, I think they'd have to get a building permit. I think they'd have to get a building permit, which would be yeah. denied, or they'd have to go yeah. to the planning board, which would use yeah. this ordinance to deny that, that yeah. change of use. Could also be a private landowner who could lease out a portion of the property just for that purpose. Yes. Mm -hmm. well, once again, they'd have to get a building permit to, to do any type of facility or to have that type of activity, and that would this ordinance would pro mm -hmm. prohibit that. Because there was an argument about um, sludge being applied to sometimes like you had mentioned agricultural lands or land. And yeah, no, there that's was a th big there isn't that much done with not, sludge, not, but okay. but I know that sometimes the, there used to be the it was permitted to take, um, for instance, septic and spread yes. that on, on land, but that's right. no longer yeah. permitted. Okay, all right. Gorgonite is mostly the waste from beer processing anyway, from mm. Milwaukee. But it's like 60%. Most of it, yeah, which is, mm. is what it's really going to say. I, I just heard of a um, <laughs> an article, What's and it was about um, a product that I won't mention. It's supposed to be very healthy. Um, it's purple and it's in a bottle and you know you drink it and and that it was being grown with um, uh, toxic oil um, waste byproducts sold as fertilizer in California to these uh, pomegranate farmers I haven't mentioned the product and um, all of a sudden it's like wow I thought this was supposed to be really healthy for you how, how did that happen? How did they get around that? And it made me scratch my head. And my my wife, she, she's got an MPH, um, uh, Masters in Public Health, and and I asked her. I said, How can this happen? How can in this day and age, when we know the things that are going to contribute to uh, leukemia and brain cancer and all these other um, things that will end our lives, how how can these loopholes get squished in and then advertised on TV as, this is wonderful. Well, the consumer, consumers have a responsibility. Right. And, yeah. and, the, and the, that example, um, because they're, that product, or mo much of that product, I'm assuming, is not grown on certified organic land. So therefore, it's not a certified organic product, it's not a certified organic land, and they're not obligated to use certified organic Products as fertility. As, as fertilizer. <laughs> yeah, you're probably 100% uh, right. I'm certainly going to be reading a bottle next time I go in Walmart mm. to see it. Anyways, you're all welcome to the public hearing uh, we're going to do on February 22nd here at Town Hall at 7 o'clock. And I have some expert there to answer any more technical questions. Thank you for putting this together. Okay. Thank you for having right us. Yep. Well, we got a right to it. it. You know, yeah. we've got to protect it. I yep. think people all over the country are figuring out the ones who can best protect the local town's environment are the local town's people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. that's what so we're doing. So the transfer station or when you have um, brought this up, you had good response or what were some I had that? excellent, you know, you go to the transfer station and people are just so busy because life is so crammed with everything. And I had people actually stop and say, yeah, let me sign it, 
I understand what you're doing. You don't have to explain it to me. Um, and I even had one, one guy who's an environmental engineer. He says, I was here when they did the other one. If this is better. <laughs> and they called his wife over. So, you know, I, I think we have a pretty uh, informed uh, population. M maybe uh, people that use uh, the transfer station are um, more informed and that's why they go there. I don't know. Well, uh, they're certainly engaged in their community because some people but use yeah. other services that don't put money back into mm -hmm. the yeah. town through recycling. But it was a cold day and I, I got a lot of signatures. Mm -hmm. Good. Wow. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Thank thanks you. so much. It was nice meeting all of you. Thank you. A quick question. Um, does it mention the warrant number, the warrant article? Yes, it's Article there? 19. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, and we'll make sure we publicize that as much as we can in flyers before the town meeting itself. And you all know, set on the materials and the extras? Um, yes, these are extras. That public hearing's here in the select fund. <coughs> Were you going to put an article, Peter? Were you going to put an artic article in the newsletter? Yeah, there will be an article in the forum coming up. and uh, <coughs> Nottingham newsletter as well? The new deadline is this Thursday. Oh, I'm not sure about that, but I'll look into that. Thank you me. should, since yeah, Nottingham that, knows it'd be good to put Because mm -hmm. it goes out to, right, all the, just Nottingham folks. All right. the residents. Yeah. Okay, I'll double check that. Yeah. Right, and that would be good to talk about uh, if you have some of these flyers to leave here at the town hall and also at the library, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and then put that in that news. It doesn't have to be a big article, just a short article saying vote yes on Article 19 and information session on this date, but... I don't know if the newsletter is going to come out before the no, no, information no, no. session. No, it won't be. No. Okay. Well, I'll work so. on that tomorrow. Okay. okay. <laughs> Something else to do. Thank you so much. Gentlemen. Thank you. Okay. Uh, anybody else have any announcements? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. I don't think so. Oh, we did the flyer. Yeah, about right before the meeting. Go back in and yeah. tell them. Okay, you can announce it here if you want. Yes. Eventually, eventually it'll get on the broadcast. Right. If, if we're being recorded. Okay, so we're holding a winter woods walk, um, wildlife tracking and exploration of the 34 acre Kennard um, property on Kennard Road on uh, Sunday, March 3rd. From 9 to 11. Our plan is to meet at the um, Freeman Hall uh, gathering, old meeting hall on Freeman Hall Road mm -hmm. um, to try to carpool and, and head over. So we'll have probably about an hour and a half of walking on the um, trail, looking for track and sign. Um, the property abuts. Uh, large unfragmented um, parcel as well, so there's a good chance to see um, lots of tracks and a good diversity of species. Uh, and songbirds are already starting their turning over to their springtime falls. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I heard the, a chickadee today doing a Phoebe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bluebirds are calling too. I haven't heard yeah. the titmice yet. Yeah, why are they singing? I thought birds sang in the spring. This is hard. Well, they, as soon as it warms spring. up. As soon as it warms up, yeah. the Warm faster night. they get to the territory, they need to because they nest there. Know, so when they come back to that really area, cold. the first warm day, they they'll do that kind of soft. <coughs> Mom and Mitch are sort it's of doing a man. <laughs> well, it's going to be cold again, but they're going to stick it out, mean. probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, can I ask one quick question yeah. about the, the walk and something that you mentioned, Sam, at the meeting? Um, you talked about Langley and Cyrus Ponds. I'm not Lang Lang Langley that. and Cyrus Ponds are on the Fernal property that's, that abuts, that the Kennard yeah. property abuts. It's a big... Big piece so that's a conservation piece. Is that well, no, that's it's not, it's not, not under conservation. That's not under conservation, but people do people do use, use it. it. Uh, but uh, the Fernals actually um, don't think it's open to the public. Oh, it's not. Okay. Mm -mm. Because no. I noticed it's that not posted though. 
Okay. Because so Celie I think and I have walked it. Does the trail go from it's Woods Roads? Go, our go, property up, up, up to the after the after, after the boundary, yeah. Which uh, which Bramble family members? Dave and John, I think. I, I think it was to them. one of our town Facebook pages one time. People were talking about walking up there, and they said it was a family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they have the right to close it off anytime they want. Right. To, so. Yeah. But it's not necessarily closed. They just have the right to. Yeah. I think it's a lot of people that live in that area know it. So those of us right. like that don't live near there, we would be apt to. Mm -hmm. Go seek it out, but people that live near there will just walk down. Like mm -hmm. Celia used to always. Mm -hmm. you know. yeah. It's about fourteen hundred acres mm -hmm. that block. Right mm -hmm. Okay. Um, next on my agenda is commission appointments and reappointments. Uh, my term is up <coughs> this spring, as as well as Paul's, and. Uh, I'm planning to stay on. Fearless we, leader. We need to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Paul was talking about possibly stepping. Were you talking about stepping, stepping down, down as a full member um, due to a number of things that are going on, uh, uh, including some some family things and deaths. Uh, so I'm I'm completely overloaded as well as having trouble with. Uh, computer problems with Windows 10 and I really can't seem to get it straightened out <laughs> and um, I, I have some time things that I'm doing so I'm, I'm really starting to think that um, I should be trying to step away from from the meeting uh, because I think someone really needs to uh, some of the administrative things I'm weaker in, and uh, Liz uh, has taken over some of those things and suggested that maybe she would be willing to step into a full a full role, which I think would be a good thing and maybe the right time for me. Okay. Um, would you stay on as alternate? As an alternate. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to find out is if. You're saying a letter is required to? No, no. I mean, your term, your term is up this time anyway. So right. I mean, uh, you can, uh, uh, I can send in a, I'll send in a letter. Right. Uh, you know, to, you know right. who the yeah. uh, commission d wants to have on as the regular members, and as the full and, members, and, and yeah. then uh, alternate. And alternate at the same time. Right. Well, it would make it easier for me, and uh, there's two. Two months, the next two months, this this month actually, and uh, March, where I'm going to be out of state uh, on two different things, mm -hmm. and I'm working on uh, a book with a friend of mine. So it's kind of like uh, th there's too many there's too many things. Yeah, uh, in the pie. Um, well, we certainly appreciate all of your efforts and stuff that you've put in and hope mm -hmm. that you'll stay on as an alternate to well, help out. So well, well I, I would like to do some things that I'm, I'm just feeling um, like this winter really got me. Um, mm -hmm. But but as an alternate then that way you can you can still participate but you won't feel as guilty if you can't. Mm -hmm. I really <laughs> have a problem a and, and, and the meetings and as I said the emails but mm -hmm. um, in, important important things are happening and I've had some health clicks that uh, meant I had to get you know t give time to that mm -hmm. um, so I'm feeling like maybe this is a better time and if I'm in a uh, secondary role and then I can just feel more free to say okay now I'm starting to get a little more settled so I'm thinking that um, there is a lot going on in the Conservation Commission, and I really think that um, the new trails things and a lot of the things that are going on are really good. But I can't, I can't really help. Um, so, um, okay. is anything required? Uh, well, yeah. the, the somebody has to make a motion that you know, to who do we want to right. want, want to appoint as. Uh, as the regular Who members. would be able to be and then, a full member. And then, uh, and then they can uh, also put you in as an, as an alternate member. Right. With that motion. 
And, and you're willing to serve as an alternate member? I'm, I'm willing to serve as an alternate yeah, member, um, and I just feel it would be better for me to to step away from it a little, and then if, you know, uh, at that point, it, if it started to move and continue in good directions, then maybe I could find some place that would be like, okay, I like mm -hmm. this, I'm going to try to... Uh, Sam, no, you're a full member, you're alternate, do I have that right, or I have it backwards? Uh, no. Full member. Full, 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 full member. Uh, Liz is still, Liz it's, is alternate. Liz is, it's Crystal, it's... Uh, Crystal's, Crystal's alternate. an alternate. And Crystal's Crystal alternate. Because al the last time you said you just still wanted to be alternate, would you be willing to be a regular right. member? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think that's an important consideration. Is there somebody else who has indicated they want to do it? So who would be just be Crystal? Be the just yeah. be Crystal. And I don't think at this point, because the of her job, she alternates would be Paul and, and able Crystal. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I do think that that one of the things I really think about is that, you know, my age and sort of those things that are slowing me up. Um, uh, that young having younger people as alternates would give you more. Mm -hmm. flex and possibly bring in some people as the trail thing has you have some new people and maybe they can't come to meetings but maybe as they get more involved um, mm -hmm. there'll be somebody in there that's ready to right and and with the yeah. Facebook stuff now that might might bring in maybe. some additional and the people. Facebook might do that people too. and and working with some of the projects will make them and we're we're not limited on the no, a number of alternates that we can have. So. Right. I think it's six, though. I Is think it it's six? the land use boards. I look that up. Oh, okay. Yeah, six. Well, we, so we, we, we have two alternates anyway. Yeah. So I, I think yeah, right. two alternates is good, but if, if something happens and um, people are out of town or whatever, I think... Uh, yeah. yeah, well, there's been a yeah. few times where we've had barely four. Barely four, yeah, and then something, you know, so... Yeah. Anyway, that's just um, you know for some of the regular well, members. Well, we started right. our strategic plan. We weren't even a full board yet, right? Remember? No, we were. Yeah, we were. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if we had any alternates at that point. Yeah, no, right. I don't think we had alternates. Yeah. These low. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I make a motion that we reappoint Sam to full membership, and advance Liz to full membership, and have Paul as an alternate. A second. Well, that's been seconded. Any further discussion on this? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? And we abstain. Ayes have it. Okay. So do you want to write that out by hand and take it down to them now since they're there? Or? I can, it does, there's no real hurry on it. I mean, the, our terms are not up until I think uh, like yeah until, until March, March. Yeah. That, but that's so by why the, I by the next meeting yeah. everybody will be mm -hmm. but it would be nice to get that in yeah, yeah. In, the, yeah. in the meantime yeah. okay I, I would have it in before the next board is like been meeting because a few years ago right that oh, went through the we cracks and nobody got reappointed yeah yeah, yeah. right we yeah. had that issue I remember that yeah. but I, I checked the way out I said if we run that motion down to you can Remember, we couldn't even vote. I think it was with you and me that we were like legally not supposed to be doing it. Okay. Want me to just write it? Sure. Do you want me to put it on letterhead? Probably. Okay. That would really save problems later. I think to do it and then give it to them and then you can say. You do it now. Yeah. Windows 10. Let me do it on the computer because it keeps coming. Well, they meet every other week, so that's true. Yeah. Yeah. There's something in but here now. If for whatever reason it falls through the crack or. Tuesday to try to get it. That's so and Sam, finished up. Yes. This is going as a handwritten letter down to them now. Yeah. 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 To run those computers that are. Is that what Sue's doing? She's putting it on stage. Yeah, she's going to put it on. Yeah, farm and forest. Yeah. Where? Farm and forest. Oh, that? okay. Yeah, that. The expo that was yeah. last uh, weekend. I used to go there a lot. Not this. Last few years. A year ago. Hand, right? I mean, a year ago. <laughs> yeah. A week ago? Thank last you. week. Was it last week? It was the fourth. Week? Yeah, so last, not this past weekend, but the weekend before. Mm -hmm. if, if I work for 10 minutes, it comes right back. Back. 
You can keep on going. I'll okay. Be near open. Okay. Uh, next on the agenda is the Trails Committee report. Uh, Liz, um, as chair of the Trails Committee. We've now had three meetings with the Trails Committee, chugging along um, and starting. Uh, we have 11 on it right now, oh, except that unbeknownst to the committee at the moment, um, we're going to be adding one person from the Recreation Department. Oh, good. Ooh. Oh, Probably Courtney, but it could be Sam. And they actually both wanted to be on, but I feel like, awesome. you know, wow. it's probably better to have them. So yeah. they are very interested. I've been uh, this is taking off. Of kind of behind the scenes this work. This is um, probably the right time. Uh, especially mm -hmm. gearing up toward, you know, the, the booth that we're going to have at mm -hmm. Nottingham Day or at er the Earth Day Festival, mm -hmm. which is going to have this trails focus. So our thoughts on that, just to give you a heads up, are that um, I'd like to have a walk maybe of the trail or part of yeah, the, one of the trails perfect. that goes right from there, yeah. as well as try to put together, they won't be perfect, but to have um, some maps available mm -hmm. for some of the walks that we know about that have existing trails on them so we can you know, have that theme of you know, take a walk in Nottingham. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, so great. we're gonna see what we can do. I actually have a meeting tomorrow morning at nine, I'm not sure why I scheduled it for nine or why I agreed, <laughs> agreed to nine, but um, <laughs> after tonight's meeting. Uh, but I'll be meeting with Suzanne Peterson from the Land Bay River Advisory Committee. She um, has, I approached her about a possible grant to do some trail mapping and to get our, our committee off the ground with some products and she was very interested in that. Oh, so we're gonna awesome. talk about that tomorrow. She, really wanted to kind of hold our hand. Leanne Gast and I will be working on that grant proposal and um, hope to have something not too ambitious for the first one, but she, um, Suzanne indicated that they would probably be very happy to follow up with a second grant. Oh, really? For something else. Sometimes but they don't always do that. You mm -hmm. say one per so many That's years or something. Yeah. Project yeah. Every time. <laughs> well, they can fund four projects this year, and they have three other proposals besides ours. So they, she was pretty much like, let me help you with this so okay. that we can um, you know, ideally come up with a good idea, put it forward, and you'd have your money fairly soon. So wow. <laughs> that sounds good. I thank Sam for putting $150 in the budget for the Conservation Commission this year that's going to trail development. So that's great. Mm -hmm. And there will be some funds coming from the silent auction on, at the Earth Day Festival. Um, to match. It, and that, that does not have to go to the Trails Committee. It just could go to the Trails mm -hmm. Committee. That's for the commission to decide how you want to spend that. But there, we're starting to come up with some uh, you know, resources here. Um, I, I, my own personal opinion, and that, that can happen when that decision needs to be made, when whatever happens with the silent auction, but since that silent auction is coming from the rec department, it makes me think that somehow, somehow we can feed back our activities or information or whatever back into strengthening that relationship, I think would be good. Good, okay. My, my own person, that's. Well, there, there was, you know, talk about, the, you know, having some sort of trails on the Marston property. Right. Yeah, the Marston property is the, is the other thing that we really, I need to chat with Donna about that. I mean, there's $200,000 that's been approved at town meeting, I think in 2016, oh, for that. They, okay, right. Well, they do have permitting done, and the phase one was going to include some trails. So, oh, you know. Phase one was uh, supposed to include trails, and then when they, this little group decided that they were going to work on the Marston project, and they came in with all their fancy maps, there were no trails that were put into the thing. And I remember sitting at the meeting really? going, oh. excuse me. But that okay, was. Well, we'll that, have to but, talk about that. But, but the they, ones that they did say that they were going to put those back in. I said that came through loud and clear at yeah. all of the listening sessions. That was one of the things that the People residents want wanted. Yeah. Well, not this, just ball fields. What's mm -hmm. online right now, and they haven't replaced it with anything, is a map that shows the conceptual design. And it says specifically phase one expanded you know, parking area near the entrance, move the gate back so that people can actually get in and, and put a right. car in there. And then it has the trails mapped out 
on there. So th they've done some engineering work already. Right. And those are probably the but least I mean, I was on the Marsden thing that they committee. could do. So, so that map that's up there is, is an older version of what's one, now okay. been looked at. And they came to the planning board. They came to the board of select and the conservation commission sat in on part of that meeting. Wow. And their proposal that they came through had changed mm. some of what was on that original map. Mm. That, that was a conceptual. Who, who I don't remember who it is, change. Liz. And they, and they had come up with all this, this new sort of reconfiguration, and trails were not in there in that initial phase just one. Oh. And then that, and that was... The thing for getting that right. oh, thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> okay, so anyway, there's great potential there. When you think about the money that's been invested by this town in properties like Mulligan Forest, um, Ternanko, the Potapaway Woods Project, uh, Marston. You know, we've got a number of properties that really we need to get mm -hmm. the word out to the public about how they can take advantage of the offerings of the resources there. So that's kind of what we think we'll probably end up doing with the Trails Committee. Yeah, because one of our the other stage one. Yeah, one of the other things for Marston too is that part of those trails are supposed to be ADA compliant. So yeah, I guess there was That's one was especially that was so we can get a wheelchair, which would be wonderful. Yep. That yeah. would be really wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, the um, town of Barrington at our last meeting, uh, we had Charlie Tatum come in from <coughs> the town of Barrington. Mm -hmm. He was head of their trails committee, and he talked to us, you know, we had a, you know, a nice Q&A session where he uh, talked about how they started their committee the data and how you can do that. what kinds of projects they've worked on. They've had a very close relationship, it sounds like, with like their highway department, who has really helped with constructing parking areas and mm -hmm. putting up some gates and things like that. So, Did you, want to you know, there's some you potential for us to work with them up. on trails projects, too. But they, one thing they had that's so nice, and you can't probably see it very well, but if you go onto the Barrington um, Conservation Commission website and you click on Barrington Trails, you'll see there's a map, and I can pass this around. You'll see there's a map, and it shows all of the lands in Barrington that have public access. Now, not all of them have trails. The ones that have trails are shown over on the yeah. other side. You can click okay. on it, and then you can get trail maps there. Ah, so yeah. what I'm envisioning is something similar for Nottingham. There's something kind of like that for Deerfield. <laughs> um, on their on their website, too. But it's not user-friendly. It's more in the form of a document. Right? But this is you know, this online resource. So, uh, you know, stay tuned. This would be... You know, great if we can get to that point. And um, also Crystal and Deb, who both sit on the um, trails committee, they've agreed to work with Kristen on the, you know, the Nottingham CC Facebook page. So that's a way for us to get the word out. You know, lots of interesting uh, things that we are trying to pursue right now. And at our next meeting, we'll be talking more about the priorities and the, the goals. And I believe um, Phil Osher is still planning to attend the next meeting. We'll have a little Q&A with him. He's not a guest speaker at all of your meetings. Yeah, it, 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 the sure downside of that is that there's so much that we need to talk about yeah, as a yeah. committee, <laughs> um, that when you're having you a guest speaker, it takes up time. But on the other hand, these people are the best partners we can have out there. They know the land, they know easement management, land management, mm -hmm. and they know the ins and outs of getting things done and putting together work crews for, uh, for you know, if we want to have a trail day, they can help us think through how to organize that. Uh, so Phil will have a chance to meet us briefly. It'll probably just be a half hour discussion like we had with, with Charlie. And then uh, and we can meet him and, and just have. When's your next meeting? The next meeting is first they're always going to be the first Thursday of mm -hmm. the month at six thirty. So it's going to be um, March first. Yeah. And the one after that will be April fifth. And uh, you know, got a lot of balls in the air at the moment. <laughs> and I'm going to be away. I'm just You've really been you. moving along. Yeah. I mean, it's impressive. Yeah. Really well, impressive. How much you've well, accomplished. Well, you know, we've put all of our documents, we've kind of approached it, thanks to Crystal, actually, mm -hmm. and Deb. Um, we are using the Google Drive 
a shared drive so that all these documents are up on there. And at one of one of the meetings with the full conservation commission, I should probably show well, you. Crystal's the whiz. She's the whiz at the drive. Oh, yeah. She's really good. She's the whiz at the drive. Good too. And, and Christian's yeah. good. We have yeah. Christian, yeah. who's been incredibly helpful on the, the tech yeah, side. Yeah, it sounds like those, Christian had come to a meeting those two here. things together yeah. are really good. Yeah. So I set the room up a little bit differently, and we have a big screen here that's up here, and then we show things on the projector, and we, so we can approve minutes. We can go over the minutes together, looking at them on screen. Mm -hmm. And we have this repository now of information about a lot of the, pro um, the parcels and properties that we have. Uh, right, we can add to them if, if anyone yes. else knows anything, because I yes, can open please, it up to um, some members you know, here. Because ask me, and we'll, we'll try to get your yeah. other information on. I hope everybody will you know, feel yeah. free to participate to the extent that you can. Yeah, so that's we a great open document or open file of yeah. each right. um, parcel and information. Um, right now, the only people who can go in on that are members of the Trails Committee, just to keep it mm -hmm. a little bit controlled. <laughs> um, but it doesn't mean that you know we can't share it with you in some fashion. We'll try yeah. to figure out what makes yeah. sense. I would like for every, we have property profile folders there um, and one thing I would like to have in each of them and I, some of them have the documents already but I'd like to have the actual easement deed as a PDF in every one of those folders so that like I have it for Harvey for example um, but I don't have it for Sweetser and Zanard you know I don't have it for Conti so I'd just like to have those there because those can guide what the terms are for public access for those properties. And I really those those are all available through the New Hampshire the Rockingham Office of Deeds. Yeah, and I'm going to have to go there because I'm not having good luck on my computer. Yeah, they're they're not the easiest thing to download from no. that. You could probably also get uh, in terms of the Sweetster, you could contact one of the guys from. So, so, so yeah, right. yeah, yeah, sure yeah, they they ask Dwayne to send mm -hmm. you those. I, well, I was just going to tell you. This. When I, I, had, I got I, the I, ones for Mulligan and Patapoy Woods, you know, the Helen Brown property, mm -hmm. I got those from the Forest Society. Mm -hmm. They sent them to me as PDFs, but they, they kind of said, well, why don't you have those? And I said, well, we have them in a file and it's in the back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and, and I know we probably Old have style. all of these as paper. Yeah, we have Compte as paper Compte's and here. all of them and, are there. And maybe... And Compte I, would be paper because they're probably, they probably didn't have PDFs so at the time. Yeah. That right. So we could, but we might have to, we could go with those and scan them. And, we could scan them, yeah. maybe Dawn could help um, yeah. scan those documents here, give us PDFs. Probably would be a good idea to get everything electronic. We have all these paper copies, but it probably would be slowly to get all this information electronic or digital anyways yeah. so yeah. That's mm -hmm. so we're kind of you know approaching it in that way and, and hopefully some of what we have in those folders will be useful not just to the trails committee but to the whole commission so, yeah. good idea it actually makes me think about all the easements even the ones that don't have regular public access yeah. probably a good just idea have yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay uh, uh, Yep. Liz, I'm going to ask you because yeah. I, um, my ear was turned off. Who are you asking for a grant from? You and um, the oh, Lake right. River Advisory Committee. Oh, they have that's a small right. grants program. Okay. Grants of up to five thousand dollars. Small grants committee. Thank you. And I, I might just put in a plug at this point that uh, LRAC is looking for a person to serve on the committee from the town of Nottingham. Yeah. Anybody out there in, in the in listening, viewing is interested? And that would be monthly, monthly meetings, right? Yeah, monthly yeah. meetings. Uh, it's usually... Yeah, do you know what day it is? It's usually a Tuesday... Um, it's usually the Tuesday after the L LRWA meeting, 
which uh, we were supposed to have tonight, but that got canceled. So is it, is it um, so um, in the late afternoon usually? Yeah, what no, time are they? Uh, no, they're. Uh, are they? I think they're around seven o'clock or so. Oh. Okay. And there are various committees. They have a, f a number of committees that meet at other times, so they would probably like to have the person serve on one of the committees. I do have one question for everybody here, which is that the, the Trails Committee is turning out to be rather popular. Um, I said I had to, <laughs> I had to say to Courtney, you know, probably one person from Recreation as an official member and the other is welcome to attend the meetings mm -hmm. and, and sit in or, or be, you know, be the alternate for the mm -hmm. Trails Department on mm -hmm. those meetings. But I, um, met a woman at, uh, Celia introduced me to a woman named uh, Christine Henderson, I believe, who's an easement monitor for Bear Paw. Mm -hmm. She lives in Nottingham. She would like to join the committee come summer. Um, and I heard rumblings from other people. And it's like, at what point should I? <laughs> rumblings like, um, like two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. No, no, no. Rumblings like they'd like to join. Oh, <laughs> like they have uh, something to offer. I mean, it, there's the committee. The trail and committee, or you mean the trail trails trails committee? Trail trails committee. Trails committee. Yeah. Because this this is what seems to be drawing people. And certainly, I don't want to turn anybody away because we're going to need, especially when we do projects, we're going to need lots of hands. But, but does that mean that the, you know, should I? Does everybody become a member or I, an alternate member? I, I think if I were you, Liz, that there's, there's a point where a meeting gets unwieldy with too many people. So, yeah. Yeah. so say that you've, you, you know, you've, people have already come, they've, you've, you've kind of met the need to have a, have a core committee and work on, and, and if right. at some point in time there are subcommittees, so, you know, we'll take your name, and if you're interested in working <laughs> on a subcommittee, and certainly like when we start working on trails, we're yeah. going to need volunteers. Are and the meetings open? For sure. Yeah. 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 Meetings, are open. Open. meetings are open. So trail yeah. walks in. Right. So, like, you yeah, know, those, anyone's welcome for trail walks, and especially helping out with mm -hmm. trail work. Speaking of which, we do have a trails committee walk um, on the Ternanko property coming up. And this is, what we're doing is, this is really just a, you know, like a reconnaissance walk to familiarize people on the committee with, um, with the property. What, and that, when is that? Is that that one is going to be on Saturday, it's scheduled for Saturday, February 17th at 10 o'clock. Oh, so that's coming right up, this yep, Saturday. That's this weekend. coming Saturday, but if the weather for some reason is not good. Um, it's just possible, again, yeah. And then our alternate is Sunday the 25th. Because, okay. uh, um, I don't want to advertise this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At our work, we're largely volunteer run, and it becomes a lot to manage mm -hmm. and coordinate right. and motivate and follow up with that many volunteers. So you should go easy on yourself, I think. Yeah. I think that's that's very good advice. Um, yeah. The Fish and Wildlife Service, uh, I volunteered for several years and they have a person who's who just does that they get these volunteers for an area say Nottingham or you know a state park or yeah. a refuge and then they train you how to manage people and make the most of what you get because a lot of the people have yeah. skills that are unusual and that is pretty much 40 60 80 hour a week <laughs> I mean, really, because they're not, they're not taking yet. all these volunteers, and some of them are very, mm -hmm. very experienced and and have a lot of. They have time. They yeah. can be retired executives. They can be, and and so if you have people coming like that, yeah. when you're planning yeah. a committee, yeah. you just don't. Time. Yeah, really it'll get just a eat you up. Person on the on the trails committee mm -hmm. to be the volunteer coordinator. A good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's an issue of management, meeting it, management, it, yeah. keeping your meetings focused and tight and moving on. Um, so people don't languish. Like, maybe you could do like a calendar with that volunteer coordinator of like your goals. You oh know, yeah, we're not there yet, but we will but, have to do yeah. that. Yeah, because then that person can 
the, the people in those work Areas. Yeah. Someone that's people friendly. This course uh, was a was like a two week seminar, which the Fish and Wildlife paid for to go down to Virginia and uh, in their national training center. Mm -hmm. And they had a psychologist and um, a, and a, a person who had wildlife experience would teach this and. It's, I still have the book in the course. You might look at it because it's really interesting. Because somebody that can knows a lot about people and then can see these skills, uh, and then they're happy to be put into something that's productive. Like, yep. So um, I'd be glad to loan it to you and you could just yeah not yet we're not too well but you could pass it on to to that person that eventually but for sure right yes so mm -hmm. okay yeah. Yeah. yeah i have some links too for um volunteer yeah and there's a nice book with yeah. that new uh, cooperative extension put together yep yeah organizing volunteers mm -hmm. well, it's right they can eat you up <laughs> yeah, but it's it's well it, 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 it'll but, uh, it'll make you it'll make you very savvy about picking the person who's and yeah. Their Having a core committee of like <laughs> ten people, I think, is oh, counting Courtney, I think it's allowed eleven. I mean, twelve. Yeah, and I mean, but I think that's a manageable size. Once you get a lot bigger than that, I think mm -hmm. it's just going to be hard to manage. Yeah. But but there's right now not everyone at comes at once, so you don't always mm -hmm. get all of us yeah. either. Yeah. So. yeah. It's nice we're starting to delegate some things, such as Heather will be working um, on the Earth Day Festival booth and uh, the walk. And we're kind of starting to coordinate a little bit with Mark West on that mm -hmm. because he had wanted to do a walk that was going to be more about vernal pools mm -hmm. right from there. But the purpose for the walk that I had in mind was more just to familiarize people with the trail, the Nottingham Woodlands Trail that leads from there. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we probably have two, two different walks going mm -hmm. that down. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Courtney's involved with that as well. So. <laughs> I met Mark at the sand pit yeah. yesterday. yesterday. Just what I was well, thinking. Well, well, the good problems uh, I have, <laughs> as opposed to uh, okay. nobody showing right. up. They're all set on right. trails. Yep. Oh, yeah. I think okay. Uh, the workshop report is probably a minutes, right? Anyone to do that as minutes? No, I, I was going to do that as minutes, but I only got halfway through the regular minutes for January. Okay. So I don't have those that report, which would be minutes. Oh, okay. But we have two other sets of minutes mm -hmm. to review tonight. Anyway. Okay. Uh, <coughs> as far as the LRWA report, uh, we, we didn't have enough for a quorum tonight, so we didn't have a meeting. Uh, Bear Paw, the only thing that's well, uh, as far as the the annual meeting went, uh, I think they we had probably close to a hundred people there. Uh -huh. To hear Mike Meyersheim talk about uh, critters in in New Hampshire, uh, especially the more of the threatened and endangered ones, uh, and uh, and non game essentially non he's the chief of non game now, mm -hmm. <coughs> and uh, so they took in the raffle took in uh, I think five hundred and eighty five dollars, had forty two different items. Uh, wow. John Tanaka won the snowshoes. <laughs> he did. Uh, nice. And then he said, oh, I don't know if I want They don't fit me. They don't, they don't too small. <laughs> <laughs> I got the hiking stick, which was very yeah. nice. <laughs> uh, there were three items I didn't get any bids on, so but that's all right. Um, I had a training in Boston. Uh, and then the t total meeting, I think, probably took in, uh, must have taken in over $1,000. Good. Great. When you raffle and the, and the fee for the meals and for the meal and the registration and stuff and probably some uh, <coughs> probably some um, memberships. Um, so I guess we can go into minutes of previous meetings. Yeah. Um, I have have October. <laughs> yeah, do you want to do October? We need to do October first? before, like you know, we're doing this in the summer. <laughs> 
last fall. Now I don't have. I had sent a, a note out at four because I was. I had printed them out at school. I had left them on my little front desk, <laughs> and then I grabbed my folders for correcting, and they stayed on my desk, and I walked out of my room. So sorry, because I printed them all out nicely, spent that time, and I was mad at myself. So all I can say is I could resend the document for the few, few people that have a computer, and then you could look at mine, too. Sorry. Um, Deb, I did edits this afternoon. Oh, good. And I sent them out. I you did, sent your edits out? I, mm. Yeah, I sent out the document, edited. Oh, okay. um, it was mostly spelling and just yeah. formatting okay. and putting everything into the same font. Um, so but you I, resent I, it. I did, and just check that out. But there were two things in there. I had I had no clue what they were. Okay. Um, and you'll see that. All right. So are you was that the minutes we're looking okay, at now? The October minutes. The October sixteenth minutes. Okay. But I sent that out to Once, everybody. Right. I've got the yeah. last one I'm asking. All right. She sent them out at four thirty. Thank you, so. Yeah, you're welcome. But See, I'm, I'm I worked officially on it for fired quite a while. as a secretary. That's why I don't take notes. <laughs> I was going to say. Sue, we really so appreciate you. So many people you. left that haven't been yes. fired. <laughs> yes, we all appreciate Sue. She's the best. Disappear. Yeah. No. I have December 11th. I have three copies. And I'm out of toner. You're out of toner. So, yeah. my husband's going to order some online. Okay. So, yeah. he's you yes. get okay. um, so reimbursed, though? Do you, you get to put in for a new toner? No. Meaning, no. I, okay. no, I do get Did you send the December yeah. minutes? Yeah. Run off a lot of paper. Did you send the December minutes out as well or just the October? I sent them out not recently. But I did oh, send yeah, no, no. Today. But I mean, yeah. not in today. Today you not just sent today. the October ones. Right. Okay. Right. I thought there was another one. I did planning board news today and started January minutes. Liz, Christian is a GIS specialist for, is it the Rockingham Planning it's Commission? Rockingham. Yeah, Rockingham Planning He's in Commission. Touch a lot with Rockingham the Regional Planning. Regi Rockingham <laughs> Regional. That's that's where my RR, Rockingham Regional. Did you want a, a, a paper copy? Planning. So you not, don't have to go back and forth between my edits and what you well, have? Well, I'm on yours. Oh. I just opened up yours. Okay, that works. So that I could just send it back to you. Why? Um, With I don't the know. completed. Do we need the completed edits or it doesn't matter? Do you, can I, we just mark it up? Is that all you wanted? Yeah, I was just helping out. So, you know, do I send. With the completed edits, do I just send it out to everybody? And we can look at it at our next meeting, right. and then that'll be good. Can't we just accept them now and then get them printed? Because now we go on to March. Can we just? Does everybody have my minutes to look at my edits? I, well, I came out. Cheryl has a. I do here. Sam does not. Sam's know. look at Sam's looking at them. Yeah. yeah, that's. Raylene, were you um, able to pull them up? December, this oh. is Sue's. Uh, 4.30 oh, okay. we'll email. 4.30? She sent it out at 4.30. Today. Oh, Today. yeah. I, uh, that's the, the... October 16th. October 16th, 16th oh, minutes. That, oh, I thought we were looking at these. This I have the, the October 16th one, yes. Um, <clears throat> oh, you got them on there? No, I just wanted to say, it's actually, they call themselves Rockingham Planning Commission. Oh. On their website. Okay. Our, our so should we just say, Ro okay. okay, so Rockingham Planning Commission. And I'll put in parentheses RPC. So RPC. And you had asked some questions somewhere too that I was yeah, unable so to answer. So okay. Did, did anybody write it? Is that on yours? What's that? On the did anyone arrive later? Right. Okay. So Kristen just Kristen. So. Just noticed um, up in on the second paragraph. Um RRPC and oh, been in helping with mapping, but is unable. So you mean is? is, is it should be is interested rather than and interested. So after so RRPC is and is interested. That's what you want. Is interested in helping with mapping. I'll be crossing off. Did anyone arrive later? You might mention mapping and. 
Yeah, I'll cross that off. I don't think anyone, any other members arrived after nope. that. He right. was specifically interested in trail mapping. Trail Helping mapping. With trail that was kind of why we. Yeah, trail mapping. Yes. Okay. So, and maybe also present or in addition, what do I put there? I have also Celia, John Ternanko, Dan Kern. How about welcome and introduction? Should that be a separate tap down and then in bold? Mm -hmm. So it's just a heading welcome and yep. introduction? Yep, just okay. separate it out and put it in bold. Okay. I would put also in attendance were Celia Residence. Abrams, John Trinico, and... Resident Celia Abrams. Also in uh, Resident Celia Abrams and, and John Trinico. Are we on announcements for are we? Yes. Then there should be a arrive, six right? colon thirty. Okay. Right. Uh, this Wait, is this coming Friday. Friday. Should we put in the date? Did somebody say put in the date after Friday? Doesn't it matter? Uh, it says this coming I'm just Friday. Saying this coming Friday, probably out of this coming Friday, which was like October. If we could ever remember, October something or other. Oh, long. Let's see. I'm looking at my eye count. 20. 20th. 20th. <laughs> We're going back to October. This is sad. You can blame it on me. Okay. Friday, October 20th. Yeah, Friday, October 20th. Okay. That's good. Yep. <coughs> All right. So, Deb, the other thing I'm seeing is under announcements, where the last sentence where it says annual meeting, mm -hmm. there's just an extra extra space, space. between. I yep. do that all the time. And there's an extra space down on the Trinco between acres and the. Do you catch the one after 15 acres? <coughs> mm hmm And definitely doesn't like my nose entering. And then I have this, the money, the cost. The cost of the survey. So I have that thrown in there, I guess. Cost of the survey of Ternyanko. That was at that time. So current estimate, should I say, of survey of Ternyanko. You just, I would just say es estimated cost. 795 is the estimated cost of the survey did of the Trenanko property. <laughs> did you clarify to <coughs> Deb um, the town has no executory interest on this? I think I did after that. If you read down, it does. I, I, I did state well, that. That's because we are the prim primary. Oh, no. Yeah, we'll have the primary. Yeah, we will. We'll uh, have primary. the primary. <coughs> the sentence says no executory interest on this one. <coughs> what seems to be shorthand. Uh, so maybe to say the town has no executor. Well, the, no. there is no there is no executory interest. And, you know, Bear Plot doesn't. By, any by anybody. Okay. okay. But, but the town will be called the primary no easement D. Executory Should that be included? Right. On this easement. Yeah. Uh, Town, town is the grant. Grantee. Oh, grantee. That's okay. He's my holder. Okay. So estimated cost is seven thousand nine hundred and fifty. 
to cover the survey. Um, I would just state the estimated cost of the, the survey, survey is, is okay. of the Ternenko survey is <clears throat> okay. And you have a <coughs> statement, sorry. Mr. Janenko stated when all is done, he will have over yeah, 200, I'll put the is in there. Yeah. 200 when acres. When all easements completed. Or, or over 200 acres protected in conservation easements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I actually took some of this because I went back and listened. I mean, I spent a lot of time. I went back and listened to the recording oh. <laughs> I mean, to get the <laughs> details. Did you record that one? Don't no, worry. you can go back. She had sent oh, us out that link. When oh, you go to oh, the website, okay. you can listen to any right. recording. Is it you clear know? enough to? Oh, yeah, very really? clear. You can well, not listen, but you can watch it. So you just, yeah, it's like it two hours. I was there. I'm going to this again. I found these computers. And should check to see that any trails that are planned are in compliance with all wetland and other laws set to it. I see a period there, I think. Protect Decurring. wildlife and species. Yeah. Mentioned there are just general terms in play. Period. I put a period after wildlife and species. And then is that a question? Could some baseline knowledge get into the document? Could some baseline knowledge get into the document broad enough to let someone know, but not oh, could, be could, too could specific? Include? We were arguing about this. So this was, if you have to go back, this was like we were mm -hmm. kind of, this was hard because we were like going back and forth. So I was trying to get that back and forth. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's too much information, you know what I mean? It could, it could very well be, because you're not by statute required to go into a lot of detail. You can just summarize. There was a discussion about Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what I don't know how to do. with decisions rather than what the... Rather than just yeah, it's, it from makes them. it really right. complicated, and you can't always understand. To, uh, um, so just delete so that and just say... You could say that there was a discussion about um, the... Specifics. Yeah, or, yeah, specifics. specifics or details of the <coughs> language of the easement concerning baseline. Permitted and non permitted activities. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of all that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so from could all the way to no one can be forced to do this, just encouraged, it's getting deleted. So then I just put there was a discussion about specifics of the language of the easement concerning permitted and non-permitted activities. And then I just go into um, Bear Paw Regional Greenways will do the baseline report, easement deed, and help arrange for closing. Blah, blah, and then blah. delete there, helping us bring those forward. OK. So Matt right. will forward the document to the town administrator who will forward the document to the town attorney. Okay, hey, now on to Shippy Rice. <laughs> okay, thank you. For 
your sentence is fine, and then I think I'd... Uh, I, I added the word, we'll hold the executory interest. We'll hold what? We'll hold the, the executory exec 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 interest, okay? Instead of executory interest? No. We'll hold that. <coughs> Just added the article. Oh. That. <coughs> you don't have to add it in uh, because she's going to send us a new... Survey has been completed. So it should be um, easement language was drafted with no. after survey has it's been done. The easement language was drafted. I'm assuming that's what it refers to. Mm -hmm. How about easement deed easement language? Deed language was drafted. Drafted. Okay. I think it's great to have all that mm -hmm. the benefits about the mm -hmm. easement in there. So if I have two includes, don't I? Most of frontage includes. Mm -hmm. I think I'd leave out standard easement language for what is not allowed. I don't think you need that in there. That's okay. And then maybe just the they'd like to close. I would tell you, you know, they'd like to close by the end of the year. Uh, so uh, actually, I, I must have <laughs> survey. Most of frontage includes the two acres. I don't understand what I was saying. Includes the. The two-acre house lot. The building involved. Two-acre house lot. <coughs> Maybe take out the, yeah, they would like to close. Or... Okay. So they would, okay, I, I deleted that. And I think at the bottom I would say demerit will follow up on a should well, I get rid of the, could we do this yeah. both? Yeah, and just put demerit, demerit will we'll follow up to on doing on both properties. The requirements for public hearing. hearing for both properties. Okay, demerit will follow up on the requirements for doing both, doing, for Such doing the hearing. Holding a single public hearing for both properties. For and then list them Terninko and holding a single. So it's clear what both properties are. Both the Terninko and the Weiss properties. Okay. So I just put Barrett will follow up on the requirement for holding a single hearing for both the Ternyanko and Shippy Rice properties. Just for ease of, should that just be left as the Rice property? Okay, I don't know. I mean, I like the rice and shippy rice, well, but it just it, seems to be a bit. It comes through like that. So. Oh, it is. Yeah, okay. whatever is written yeah. down. Oh, okay. Rice, rice, oh, that's rice, fine. Rice. We, we don't mind that you and a half. <laughs> we get, you know, three it's extra name, characters you know? in there. Right. Yeah. yeah. No problem. No five extra characters. And I know the problems it was going to cause. <laughs> <laughs> so on the, on the Kenner, I'd put down town owns the property and Bearpaw Regional Greenway is the easement holder. Will will be the easement holder. They weren't at that point. Okay. They still they still aren't at this point. Will be the easement holder. <laughs> and then there is there is no executory interest. Oh, there will there will be. Well, there will be. There no will be no there executory interest. Will be. No executory interest in this one. And then shall you say <coughs> Ron Kennard approached Bearpa about the property and wanted to go into conversation for the town? Okay, we're so 
um, Ron Kennard approached. Well, he, he, about that. Sure, he talked. I think he, he probably talked to them first, and then. Uh, <coughs> property being put into Eastman. They wanted to go into content. But I, I don't think we need to go into all that detail yeah. in these yeah. minutes, Sam. Okay. Because otherwise we're going to be here till 11 o'clock mm -hmm. detailing these minutes. So okay, so is that okay? <laughs> is this okay, what was written about Kennard? Um, make his first name Ronald okay. <clears throat> rather than a nickname. Okay. Extra space between approached and PRG. And then t maybe... Um, Town attorney recommends it to be brought to town meeting um, due to the time lapsed. Out of legal concerns. How about just out of legal concerns? Out of legal concerns. Out of legal concerns. An abundance of attention to legal concerns. It makes the most sense to be brought to town meeting because they already said that. Yeah, I'll delete that whole sentence. Then it just starts with Bear Paw Regional Greenway submitted the crest to get paid for the survey and administrative tasks. I would say I would re submitted an invoice. Submitted an invoice. I don't know if the question has to be in there. So do, can we delete? Do can we delete? Do we have to? Okay. I mean, I again because I. Listen to the thing. I probably, yeah, no. I know that's my problem. Okay. I would I would just delete the question. By okay. All right. That whole paragraph. The whole. Just the question by Katowski. Granted. Just state that Mr. Yeah. Kern mentioned property should be submitted to. Yeah, leave okay, that last sentence. I got that. Oh, Mr. That. Kern mentioned property should be submitted to Granite to be included in the database. Okay. So yeah. state what database or just in the database? Or is there a specific It's a database? granite database. I think it's assumed. Oh, right, but I didn't know if there was a sub database. I don't think, we, I don't think it's necessary. It's on the conservation land. <coughs> it must be the, the layer, I think, for that. The granite. Okay, and then the last thing, Sue didn't know what my N-H-A-N-R-S meant. That's correct. I did not. And I don't remember anymore either. New Hampshire Association <laughs> I was just wondering for the minute, each of those be spelled out? New Hampshire out? Association of Natural Resource Scientists, okay. Because there is um, in the budget? I think LRWA has been taken care of. Um, N-H-A-C-C has also been taken care of. Bear Paw Regional Greenways, because I went through and I put those in their proper form and then put the initials in parentheses. Okay. The one I didn't know was the N-H-A-N-R-S. And now we know. Well, we do? What is it? Mm -hmm. New Hampshire Association of Natural Resource Scientists. Scientists. Okay. Should I have written those all out? Yeah. yeah. No, we don't need to do that so except for that one because the other ones I had already taken care of. The other ones are earlier in the document. Yeah. Okay. In the okay. <clears throat> of a four, National New Hampshire Association of Natural Resource Scientists. Resource Scientists. And the old stretch, Dad. <laughs> I'm sure everybody is like, I am so tired of these <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Okay. It'll get there. Yeah. There we go. I'm going to have to leave this to you guys. Okay. I think everything else is. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of thinking like 15 more minutes. I don't think anything needs to be fixed on the that trail thing except for the. Alan willing. Where is it? He's willing to help us out and interested in moving on. Yep, and there's a space between committee. Oh, yeah, willing is spelled yeah. incorrectly. I think. Yeah. And he has another L. He is willing to help us. Okay. Well, he needs an L. He is wiling. Oh, right. Willing. Wiling. He an L. Get 
Uh, Trinaco is spelled wrong down at the bottom for the easements. N I N K O. I'll send my edited version to you soon. Is that okay? Yeah, you send it out to everybody too, Doug. Okay. So they'll have it on there. I say okay. last Should we write computers. volunteered for the Mendham's East and West? Mm -hmm. All right, so. Mendham's? Yeah. Chippy What's Rice. What's wrong with Mendham's? Add Chippy Rice. Okay. Yeah, that's right. All right, down to correspondence. Extra space between in and Francesca. Mm -hmm. Get rid of my dots. about the anonymous postcard, just leave it as it is. Okay. I think the next one's fine too. You just want to just say postcard then? Or do you want to say communication or? Instead of anonymous? Uh, yeah, instead of anonymous postcard. How do yeah. you? Just say postcard. Okay, postcard. next one about the lot line that's fine too how many l's are in your last name paul one okay so that's correct all right yeah everybody does Three that I's. because it's ml L, millie is yeah. everybody's got it yes it's an unusual last well name. um demerit and and miliotis are up to new terms um change sam to demerit You know why? Because it's easier to spell Sam than Demerit. <laughs> <laughs> and Paul rather than Millie. Right, yeah. I know. I like yeah. people's first names. Yep. <laughs> I struggle with that. It's last easier. Name. River water testing. Unless you're Smith, then that's easy. Yeah. Extra space between, Extra space between R, R and R. all. In the trails ministry, oh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. been putting initials like DK for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on and root. Mm -hmm. Roadsides, why does it not like, it doesn't like roadsides either. Roadsides? Uh, uh, roadsides, uh, road I don't think that was done. I think that was the state that did the scraping. That's a state road. Is that all data will be uploaded to their website? As state. As the data. state. Or do you want to say as, as DOT? The yeah, state DOT. State DOT did a scraping of the road. I'll just put road, like roadsides, or road edges, roadside, I'll just leave it, who cares? Uh, should, uh, should root be capitalized? <laughs> Probably. What's capitalized? Root. root. Scraping of the uh, edges yeah. of yeah, Route 152. Yeah, 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 yeah. Space. A capital I N after land trust, or was that done already? Yeah, and then Southeast Land Trust. I didn't it said I'm on Southeast Land Trust owns land on Deerfield end of town, Linden Land and blank at the Deerfield line. Is that supposed yes, to be Linden? It's, it's Leiden. 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 But I don't know how you spell his name. He's the PBS guy. Isn't it L Y D E N? I think it might be O N. I'll tell you what. Let's do we now, really do need? Okay, land, so how important? Do they all right, wait, 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 wait. How important is this? Do we need all these details? Well, I don't know. Is it? Do they? Does Selt own the land, or do they hold a hold easements on property? 
Okay, we just had a question. It was at the meeting. We didn't know the answer, but it was just a question. And so we didn't have the answer then. So we don't have the answer now, so it's still a question. Actually, you know, I mean, do we but really we need, don't need it then? Right. Do we need the information to say that we, we, don't, know we, the, the we don't know this? Isn't spreadsheet, and do we need the information to say salt? I don't think we need either of those things. Okay, so so in the minute. So nix, nix these, mm -hmm. need to resend these, yeah. so just nix those. Those are just conversations. Right. And then just other, I have. The bridge building workshop. Yep, I think okay. that's good. So in Bo. delete both of those things. I don't think we need the time. She went to a bridge building workshop in Bow. Right. It had a twenty five dollar fee to go. To attend, I, I guess. Haven't. To attend. You never got your your. I never submitted it. You never submitted it. <laughs> well, I'm still leaving Is it. Is it too late? Because we're in another year now. No. But actually, it's it's not a new year. It's not a new fiscal no, year. No, yet. no, no. It, it it's is. old. <coughs> fiscal year is January first to December thirty first for the town. Oh, that's true. Oh, right, it is. Okay. But then it's that actually not. Dollars. It's actually not voted on and approved until March. Until March. Right. So I usually don't spend anything out of the budget until March. I try not to. Okay. Just in February case. February twelfth. You want to put all two four votes. Eighteen. We're in favor of the motion, or did you just wanted to say all four? All four members? Just put the motion passed. Um, you also What's need to have how many? The motion passed with four votes. Thank you. Okay. So I don't need anything else? No. Demerit seconded it. The motion passed with four votes. And then down the bottom, you can do the same thing. To adjourn, the motion passed with four votes. The meeting was adjourned at yada, yada, yada. Ta -da. All right, and I, I just changed it. Yeah, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> I move that we accept the minutes as corrected. Second. October 16th. Who was second? Uh, Cheryl. 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 <coughs> okay, the minutes of the uh, October 16th. 16th. 16th uh, meeting of the Nottingham Conservation Commission. Uh, there's a motion to approve them as corrected, made by Susan Mooney and seconded by Cheryl, Cheryl Smith. Uh, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstain? Just... Hmm? No, I, my, I was slow on the initial vote, but I. She's tired. Yes. Okay. Well, those are December 11th. Do we have time for that? I don't know. I got some correspondence here too. I, gotta... I have two other under other. See, I want to. It's very short. If there's correspondence there, why don't you just read us what the correspondence is, unless it's something critical that we need to know yeah, the unless contents of. To... Unless it's like wetlands. <laughs> okay. Um, I got this from the from uh, the planning zoning secretary. Um, the plans for a six lot subdivision on Route 4 at 211 Old Turnpike Road, identified as tax map 15 lot 8. Okay, that's, uh, that's something that we should look at. Can she, do we have any of that electronically? Or is that simply? I don't know. Also, a couple lots on Garland. This is part of the conceptual. What? Not on this one. Oh, okay, this, this is something is the, different. This okay. is yeah, this this is Route Four. So this is Route Four, oh, north side of Route Four. Okay, okay, because there that, is another one on. Back, backs up against my okay. property, 
This one backs up against your property? That's my property over here. Oh, wow. <clears throat> the Compte property over, over, okay. he, over here. Mm. Uh, Shatini here, and then goes down that way. Is this adjoining so the Compte property? Huh? Is this, is this about the Compte property? Yeah, it abuts the Compte and the Maple Hill condominiums. So I thought the one that you're talking about, the guy is, is probably not going to go forward with that. I don't know. I, that was a conceptual. Yeah, and it was a meeting I didn't attend. Yeah, that, there were a lot of um, wetlands issues. That was a conceptual, and they decided, I, I'm pretty sure the guy has decided not to go forward with that okay. one, at least not in its current configuration. Okay, then so we can. It sounded like it didn't seem like there was enough room for. Yeah, uh, there wasn't enough. But the wetlands set back. Right. Yeah, okay. So well, we set back to all of this stuff was put really close to Garland, leaving all the back of it opened up, and there were some issues with stuff there, okay. so. We can revisit it if it pops up again then. Besides, it's a conceptual, so until it's... Right, I just wanted to right. get, get... But this is not, this is going forward, yeah. Yeah. or it's well, proposed. It's, it's not going forward yet, but it's proposed. Well, they've done, they've done the test, huh? the six lots, there's 18 acres, or about 18 acres in there. 18.88 so acres. And where is that? On Route 4, well, uh, between my house and the uh, condos. Oh. So mapping a lot, I can see it. Uh, Rat 15, lot 8. Uh, I think there's like 1,800 feet of frontage on Route 4. This is a new person. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's Route 4. Route 4. Guaranteed. <laughs> Jeffrey yeah, no, Cole exactly. Builders. Yeah. That's new. I didn't hear that part. Mm -hmm. So six lots, 1,800 feet of frontage. How many total acres? 18.88. There's some, some wetlands on there, not much. Um, they had, mostly, had, mostly the, hilly, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. There are some relatively flat areas. Uh, so steep slopes? There are some steep slopes. This is a 25%. Yeah, yeah. And there's 25% in here, 25% in here. And there, right in there. Here. Uh, they, had, they had an existing trailer here, which has since been taken off. Um, yeah, that, that went down two weeks, two weeks ago. Spelling yeah, error something like that. A lot of spelling errors. <laughs> yeah, flat. Oh, this isn't even in our town. We don't have to worry about it. Yeah, not exactly. <laughs> right. Noting. So oh, yeah. We'll talk to Roscoe about that. Does this go all the way to the um, Barrington town no, line? No, no, no. No, it's no, just Compte, a... Compte's up here. Uh, this is Which the... Which is north. Uh, north is roughly that way. Is this about yours, Sam? Oh, uh, yeah. Right, right here, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. this me. Oh, there you are, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. You spelled your name right. Hmm. Yeah. That's tough. Wow. Wow, a lot of 25%. Yeah. I mean, really, it's are they going to have prime uh, building envelopes? Yeah, yeah, why are they bought? I mean, yeah, they, okay, well, this one, what are they, okay, the envelope is there. I think, or is that the, you know, the 4,000 square feet? Mm hmm. Yeah, right that, here. Or is, that for yeah. The, or is that for the subject? Because they got the test bits in there, too. So they're doing one, two, three, three four. Yeah. Five and, and the triangle six. six. Freezing in a six. And it's eighteen acres. Yeah, eighteen, almost nineteen, almost nineteen. Don't they have to show, or they don't because they're doing two acre lots. They don't have they're to show three, build, about buildable two to three acres. Oh, they do. They have to show building envelopes. Right, but they are they're only showing the four thousand square foot. Is that the building envelope, Sue? I, that's a septic. That's a septic. Yeah. Twenty-five. I don't see building envelopes. <coughs> there are here. no building envelopes in here. Here's the well uh, radius. I oh, actually, actually, your dotted line maybe your. Oh. These are test bits, I think. Yeah, those no, are test no, bits. No, I'm talking God, about the. Are those all individual wells? Is this your dot, dotted line? Yeah. Is your building envelope? Oh my God! That's a crazy building envelope. That could very well be. Where's the yep. legend? And and so is this. See, what? this is your building envelope here. The dotted Whoa. line. Wow. Mr. Oh. Roscoe. I thought 25% is not buildable. It's not. Uh, we didn't pass a steep slope ordinance, I don't think. Right, Sue? Right, but I think they still are not allowed to build on a 25% slope. They can't build on it, but they, they, they can put a driveway there. They can put a driveway through yeah. it, which is really Blast stupid through. because the, the, yeah. the um, fire trucks Right. They have trouble vehicles, getting up with 25% yeah, they can't, yeah. Right. slope. Yeah. I think about a lot of those driveways that, that, between Raymond and Nottingham on 156. There's no wall. legend on this. Yeah. There's no legend as to what these right. things this, are. 
This should be right here on the, on the application. <coughs> it's at the back. Tell them to resubmit. This yeah. here, but that's it. I, I think one, I think this needs to be resubmitted because they're not calling out lots. This is create five new, not six. Is there currently no, one in there? Well, eight, the, eight, there's going to be one. Eight point one, eight dash one, eight dash right. two. Right. So I think they need three. to. Ha so they've got this here. They need to have a list. Lot one dash eight dash one is X X, and the building envelope is da 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 continuous. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's really hard to read this map and this. I, I, well, I don't think they're it's missing I don't stuff think it's in complete. the legend. I don't think it's complete. And then forty-five percent is not buildable. 25% slope. 25, 25. Oh, 25. Yeah, you should see it. The whole, almost the so, whole property is 25. So they all get to be it's, two acres it's or something? It's in excess of 25%. Right. Yeah, mean, it says all lots, minimum size, two acres. Minimum frontage, 200. Minimum setback, 50 feet on all sides. And it says, create five new residential building lots from this tax map. It says oh, five, five not, not six. six. Well, yeah. there's a total of six because the, one, the existing one. Oh, there's an right. existing house. So, well, there was... It was a house. There, there it was, was a, a trailer here. So, oh. so they're well, saying this is. There was a house there too. Was there? Oh. And, a, and a barn. Did they hmm. take it out? Well, the barn fell down one 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 winter day. <laughs> and then the house fell down. <laughs> and then the house uh, kind of slowly went into disrepair as the owners yeah, of the property do were down and saw his mass. And, so, th so they're keeping okay. this. So this is the parent lot eight, yeah. and then it's eight one two three four five. Okay. Okay. So they may redo the house on the parent lot at some point. So these are five additional. Okay, I get it. Mm. I, I don't know how they're going to get into some of these plans. I don't know either. It's just. Did this go well, to the I planning put, board yet? Down by Sam's trailer. I don't recognize it. Yeah, it hasn't gone to you. That just, seems crazy. I just submitted to us. I don't know. She just got to us. Why don't we just I ask know, I know the, I know the state was going to require uh, only three driveways because of the six lots. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, because it's on a major shared, highway, yeah. yes. Shared driveways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, so is this, is this one right here? That? Oh, okay, there's one there. Yeah, yeah. Right. and here's one here, but it's not marked. Proposed driveway. Proposed driveway. So, so oh, you've got oh, one entrance, oh, oh, and the I entrance right goes there. up here. The second entrance goes zig, 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 zig. to the building. What? Where is the envelope? That's, wow. That's if a, I if I oh was the God. fire and police department, these yeah. these they are, can't yeah. make that turn. These are yeah, yeah they're they not no, that. manageable <laughs> radiuses. Mm -hmm. radius. Yeah, up a no. slope. Yeah. Up a slope with these crazy turns. And the same thing. Oh yeah, this is a Y. Oh my God. A Y going in. Can we make a recommendation? And here's another one. Yes. I, rec I recommend that they, I mean, Bag really, it. really. <laughs> that the lot is not suitable for it. their intended yeah. purpose. Right. right. Yes. Well, this, this one is probably possible. This one is, but, and, and, and one, I don't know how the hell they get up there. You, you, do, you do one that comes up here and goes to a lot over here. I, I don't think they can pull six lots out of this myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, it, do they have to have a DES approval number too? It's it seems incomplete, right? Oh, because of, oh, there's only the the one that made it. Yeah, but but see, here. we do want to see them before they get through all of those costs mm -hmm. and things like that, because yeah, then they're less to likely to make adjustments and right. something when when right. they've gone through all of the engineering and everything right. else on it. Mm -hmm. so but also too, I mean, the planning board by by RSA, you can uh, uh, grant okay. approval. Of a plan pending mm -hmm. this, this, and this, and this. Right, right. As long as they jump over mm -hmm. um, or jump through that certain That doesn't look like no matter what they did, it's going to be suitable for six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, those driveways <coughs> are just insane. Yeah, oh, yeah. I just saw that. Yeah. I've never seen for it. I imagine ever. the town's going to have it. makes no sense for. Especially mm -hmm. for a year this icy. Having those people. Oh. I, mean, I mean, I look at people. Jump on to Route yeah. 4, too. Nobody's, sure, yeah. yeah. Nobody's going to plow. <laughs> Yeah. No, who could right. Plow, right? A you right. Not only emergency well, vehicles, you can't get a plow around. Uh, those. Actually, I don't know if it was completely fatal, but a tractor trailer truck and two or three vehicles involved last Thursday or Friday at the intersection of Durham and Medbury Road. Oh, oh right. yeah, 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 about that. Yeah. Last week, one was critical, life-threatening. Mm -hmm. 
Right, they mm. shut down the road for like right. five, four, some four, four hours. Four yeah. hours. Four hours. I mean, this is subprime. Doesn't even. Mr. Seem Chairman, I respectfully request to be excused. Okay. <laughs> okay. Have a good night. And yeah. Good night, guys. Good to see you. Uh, good night. I will uh, have uh, Liz sit in for you for the rest of the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> We're hoping it doesn't go that much. So we don't I can know. vote to adjourn. I guess I guess one of my concerns in this would be with with the abut abutting Comptes. Um, not that not that we can stop that, but <coughs> one of my concerns would be having um, wildlife quarters through this, etc. Mm -hmm. So. You know, this is this could be hard for wildlife to come up a 25% slope, maybe not. But at least something like this, to me, that looks like it's totally unbuildable because of the slopes and how they're going to get into these building lots is to at least leave some of these open. Now, of course, that goes to Maple Hill Condominiums, which is really not open space. But looking at how you get open space that gets back up into the Compte property, I think, to me, is important. But they're not, they're not looking to get open space, right? Because they, no. they think no, 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 they no. have two but, acre uh, But I'm just saying again. They're not at 20 acres. Right. Which, has, which I think yeah. is a cutoff for an open space. I'm just space. talking about it, to, to reduce a lot to allow, because anybody can do anything that they want on most of this. They could clear cut it. They could do whatever they want. But I'm thinking leaving some space <laughs> open, in my recommendation, would be just forget that. Yeah, right. And the same thing of trying to get access to these properties. I mean, getting people, anybody in, whether it's emergency or anyone in, utilities, that's not, whoever. It's, it's true. It's just not right for our emergency vehicle. Mm -hmm. like, it's not right for Well, I, I think the planning board would probably turn around and say, okay, yeah. you know, fire and rescue's got to take a look at this and see whether or not. Right. Mm -hmm. And certainly they need to do, the planning board needs to do a site walk. Mm -hmm. And the... Isn't it correct that the 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 driveways have they have to be at a certain angle to the road for DOT to approve them, and that's that's probably okay the way that yeah, they're going the roads. Yeah, for but, but the those angles of the driveways, I forget what the turning radius is that that they need. If they wanted to come out, that, say, um, here. Cart, yeah, well, where's the other one? Well, if you're take coming a look out at of this, this direction, and then you want to go. Hmm. West. Yeah, that's one, that's uh, like a hiking trail. Switch well, back. One, yeah. yeah. Well, this one's just as bad. Yeah. yeah, they both are. I think it's nuts. Yeah. It's almost like they need to take their six and take it to three. Or three yeah. max. So probably yeah, two, that's more, it. <laughs> two additional one. lots yeah. out of this. I mean, just because they have 18 right. acres doesn't mean they can. No, I think all they do is see 18 well, acres. Well, I you guys, put, this yeah. is going to keep. This is going to keep happening because the easiest lots have been built on. Right. Right. So we're going to mm. keep seeing. And until the town steep slopes and wetlands. Until the town <laughs> really looks at a steep slope ordinance. And when we've we've already had people that have talked about the problems with erosion and stuff like that in their driveways because of the steep slopes. And they park at the bottom of their driveways now mm. in some of the developments oh. because mm -hmm. they can't get up their driveways. Mm -hmm. And think about this, this winter. It's been know? crazy. Is this, mm -hmm. is this steep and ledgy or just steep? There's, there's ledge all through there. That's what I was thinking. There's a ledge on my property. And it's mm. got yeah. a ledge in here. Mm. What does that mean for what does that mean for septic to like steep slope build ledge? It up. <laughs> yeah. They build yeah, it pump up. Ledge. A pump up thing. Pump up and then to and then to go through with driveways, they probably have to blast out some blast. of that in order to get through it. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, that is kind of crazy. But I mean, right, here we are again, because I saw some of those going in in Raymond on 156 where they put some, squeezed some houses in. I remember when they were putting them in, I'm like, what? They're putting a house on this? It's just, who would buy, well, who would well, be stupid enough to buy it? Well, even the one that they did on 152 like that. that cut through some ledge there. Okay. It's on the left-hand side mm -hmm. as you're heading south. 156. 156. Yeah, 156. Oh, yeah. 156. That, 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 I was they shocked come. that they had put yeah. one up there thinking they're going to fall off the one in it was in Raymond the one they the one well, I I'm talking about one in Nottingham, one in Nottingham. Yeah. I don't even know did that one even go to the planning board or anything like that I, don't I was know. really surprised to see that go in I did not I don't know where the plan was 
I don't it might have been a single lot, and then they just developed it. But I that, think that's. There are two I lots think that though. one was. I think there it was a single two. lot. I remember looking at it, but I don't remember what. Well, I heard there were two lots that there's. It starts with one driveway, and then splits, and I don't. I can't verify that. But, but when I had gone through and seen all the riprap and everything else they did with that one, I was like, holy crap. <laughs> well, I thought that that was kind of a, a drainage there, like a, coming off that slope. Well, I think it was. I don't know why people would buy those properties. Did you get any, any indication of when this um, application came or is coming to like the board? This, right. I'm like this, like who would want a property like this? There's like some this. comments by March 19th. Know, yeah. But you see it, you know, or their whole backyard is just a hill, right? A steep hill for right. some of them. I'm like, so what if we so did you get our comments down flooding, down or, you know, that's um, predicted mm -hmm. for our region? Steep, flooding. steep slopes. It's gonna go right into your house. Or on um, um, steep slopes over or 25% and over, particularly um, where driveways, especially, especially in lots 8 8 3 and 8 4, are mm. indicated. Mm. What, what were those numbers? 8 3 and 8 4? Right. Yeah, those are the two. 8 3, 8 4. Isn't what that did what they you refer said? to? What are those numbers? On that. Lots. Oh, lots. Yeah. 8 3. And is that a shared driveway? Uh, yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Is that no, the zigzaggy no. one? No. Two uh, actually, two zigzaggy. 8 3 and 8 4 are have two separate shared driveways. Four, so, four so with, with five. lot 8-2 lot and 8-3 <coughs> share a driveway, and then 4 and 5 share a driveway. All right, so it's lots 8-3 and 8-2 and 8-4 and 8-5. Right. All right, so those, these are two um, sets of share driveways. Any, any other concerns? But but in particular the driveways that have and zigzags yeah it's uh, you know we also have a uh, increased flooding like we were just talking yeah. about so yeah the lunch problem is particularly crazy because it's coming down right. those driveways so I think concern of of building on something with such steep slopes in terms of Erosion and runoff. Runoff. Yeah. Um, there is a wetland. The wetland that goes. Um, a small wetland yeah. right yeah. here. 8 2 and 8 uh, 1. 8 2 and 8 1. And, you know, where, where yeah. they've got building envelopes could have impact on that wetland mm -hmm. potentially if runoff occurs. Depends upon where they build. You know, for these contour maps, they are supposed to, oh, here they are. I was going to say they're supposed to have um, yeah. feet mm -hmm. shown, but they do. Mm -hmm. So that's every two <coughs> feet. <coughs> Crazy steep. Yeah, I mean, that's, I don't even want to live on that property. I wouldn't have to so recommend that, that the planning board take a look at this um, uh, site. With a yep. yeah, yeah, we'd be interested. In. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they should be out there too. Mm -hmm. Is it? I think I can make, my, I think I can make, my, make my way over. This is the steep slope ordinance recommended in the master plan. I'm sorry. This is the steep slope ordinance recommended in the master plan. Yes, but it got voted down. It got voted down. December's ago. Mm -hmm. And then I tried to resuscitate it in the following year, and the comment was, we voted it down. Why do we have to revisit it? You know, is, do, is you have new information? It was just like right. dismissive. Well, and it keeps coming up. Well, the new information could just be that there are fewer and fewer good buildable lots. So yeah. We're seeing more and more. I, I think that's some of it. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I, think, I think some of the new information would be find out from 
police and rescue right. if they've had issues on some of these existing homes. Yeah, that's that what they do should be doing, and I think it's yeah. probably the best avenue to right. slow it down you or think about this make winter them with every responsible other for it. Day we have an icy, it's, you know. It's yeah. going to cost the town in the long run. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, I, I have so a little tiny drive. My driveways are short, but, but it, this this much slope, I'm like trying to walk and sanding like crazy for my little tiny driveway. And I know but people a, with those big ones, they can't even bother. You know, it's also if you have a steep slope on, on, on one house, I mean, I'm thinking of, what, what do you call it, off of Route 4 there that has a bunch of steep driveways. This one's got a steep driveway, and then the road comes over, and then the next one. So you're getting this flow, because I remember mm -hmm. someone talking about the downhill house it has a lot of erosion in their yard mm -hmm. because stuff comes off of this driveway, and hits the road, right and comes down. across, and then goes. And so, and the other thing is we have increased rain events. So now we're in the era of, you know, you could get a 5, 7, 10-inch rain event. And when yeah, you have and it these doesn't, increased flooding events. It doesn't events. drain off ledge that way. I mean, it just basically... It runs off. Sheets. Like it it runs ball. off. It's sheets. And, yeah. and that makes the ice situation even worse. I mean, these are all good reasons why the, 20, the uh, steep slope ordinance should mm -hmm. be revisited. Mm -hmm. uh, the rain events. The rain events. But I, I think the fire and rescue thing is where they're going to really, because they're liable. So I think that's maybe the best thing to suggest is that we have concerns about and it, and if they don't want to revisit it, they should at least have a map that has been having trouble getting explains into some of what these they're doing. Houses with emergencies, and they, you may even suggest that they have too many lots because of the contour, yeah. and that you know this yeah. is already shaky, mm -hmm. right? And then maybe they'll. Yep. Well, that's that's what I'd said. That yeah. at most maybe yeah. three. three. I think right. this is this is maybe their pie in the sky. Like, oh, maybe we can. Screw yeah, they out. probably. That's well, probably what it is. You building look at it, and it's all, the property is owned by built by builders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's owned by. Was just yeah, I never heard. By the builder. Hmm? Owner of record. Oh, yeah. Owner of record. Jeffrey yeah. Cole yeah, Builders. He bought, he bought the property. Okay. Of, Jeffrey Cole Builders Inc. Yeah, from. Uh, so he bought it from somebody. First. Well, from the. Uh, <laughs> It's never heard of him, so maybe he's young yeah, right. or younger. Right. Never heard of that. He's, yeah. he's been building in building town. For a while. Oh, all right. Uh, I haven't uh, heard of that one. Hmm. Uh, from the... Uh, well, in the, in the next week, I can put something together as a comment from the uh, Conservation Commission that I'll send out to you and you take a look at it. Um, I also just had a thought that went zoom. If the planning board is hesitant, and I think that they might be, even though they've become more green lately, not to revisit the proposed steep slopes. Is there any reason why the Conservation Commission can't forward this as a warrant article, right. say, next year? Next year. Mm -hmm. right. You know, there's many ways to skin a cat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I think we ha need to be pretty aggressive and, and I would PR. And I would ask us to think long and hard about that. And the reason I asked to think long and hard about that because it may be considered out of our bounds to mm -hmm. planning come up with mm -hmm. land use planning ordinances mm -hmm. when our focus is really land mm -hmm. conservation and water protection. Yeah. Yeah, and then it also water. creates it conflict with the planning water. board and the it does runoff. right. But having yeah, been on the commission for the years that I've been on the commission and seeing the pushback that we get when we get involved with that kind of stuff, I would mm -hmm. highly, highly caution us to venture yeah. into that Sometimes aspect. It's also, when you when you don't allow people to the full use of their property, people exactly. get mm. yeah. But, but I, 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 I would. I, I think, money sadly, it's, it's going to take a couple of these crazy emergencies. Yeah. Where the hey. per, I'm emergency not saying that I'm against that. I just don't think that yeah. should come from. I think it here. might end up coming from emergency personnel or whatever when they have. And that's why I incidents. think submitting it with that saying we have real concerns, but they appear to be these, which are, you know, and then they would see that that's something they are responsible mm -hmm. for. When they look at it, then they want to do that. What What else do we have a correspondence? Here? Okay, you got uh, something from uh, uh, this? I guess it's from Everest Norman Doe Associates mm -hmm. <coughs> about the utility maintenance notification for structure maintenance on Everest West Transmission Line 307. 
in the town of Nottingham. Could you just let us know, since that was the only thing that was sent to us from Dawn, where is transmission line 307? Because there's no indication in that letter, which was what was sent uh, to us, where transmission line 307 is. I think it's the one on Stevens Hill. I don't know where 307 is. I think it's the one on Stevens Hill. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Because yeah. they've, uh, yeah. they've been working up in there. They've been working up in there. Uh, and and that thing is so brief. I is can't Deerfield figure out what it really is. Power line so that's that, that major power line, line that yeah. comes through, I think. Okay. Yeah. And it may have something yeah, to do with this. Is, is Stevens Hill here. N O R M. Yeah. Um, it may have something to do with. Uh, there's some proposal that's going through for EverSource is got a grant to consider. Open. To the, um, to the to report. What's the big? Yeah. Is the line of the Northern apparently path. the Northern Pass that there's some kind of idea that so they may take one field? of these transmission from lines from and let Northern Pass yeah. use their line to Route Four. To Route Four. It was voted down into Barrington. Uh, Northern it, Pass was crosses. killed. Yeah, so I'm not sure it is. Stevens Hill Road crosses uh, Stage Road. Northern, Northern Pass was denied in him. Yeah, so what are they proposing? Uh, what's the, what's yeah. the gist of the letter? Yeah. They're now looking at but smaller projects. It's a series structure like replacement. We're looking at smaller projects. And there may be a smaller it looks like going just over, in the utilizing area. existing lines. Well, I think that's that what it is. Be. Because the power line crews have been in there putting in new steel poles. And they're spending a lot of money re-cutting it and making it wider. And it's all in back of us. And they've got a new gate. They go all the way up to Deerfield, where that goes over to. Date on this? And they're doing yeah. a lot of work in there. Uh, and they gave. A second. And, and what, is, what is that one, Sam? That's, uh, the same. Uh, that's the same. That's the same. Matt Tar. Okay. And but there's nothing that we can really do about that anyway. Environmental. Right. No, just not right. right. the, the, the other piece is from Salt uh, uh, with a copy source. of the monitoring report for Applehurst Farm. Yeah, so they, okay. they're sort of looking at. Yeah, that's dated uh, February 6th. Scan those things and keep them in storage. But it's very yeah, hard to figure out because that thing doesn't have say a thing much scan as to where it is and what they're doing. Well, actually, Dawn, I mean, Dawn, Dawn scanned scan? the... She does scan them. She, does she scanned scan the something. cover letter from that, but there okay. was nothing else that was included yeah. in that in the scan document. So if it comes in a scan document, then that can be kept electronically. And, mm -hmm. and either do it in, in Google Drive or Google <coughs> Dots. I mean, that's, that's source, why uh, years ago uh, I tried to... Northern Pass a get a big grant yeah. but recently. But then those guys had a drop box. Didn't Northern, Northern Pass get a big grant recently? Only let you grant. so much space for free. A big it's, federal energy space. grant. And then when you up, and we could up our limit. With I was reading the what's yeah, but it's like Google Docs. Dropbox is minimal any. cost yeah. to, to put stuff in Dropbox. Yeah. Anybody else have anything else? Uh, yeah. So we're going to postpone uh, the um, December minutes. minutes until next meeting. Fine. Okay. okay. A couple things. Um, Crystal wrote to us while right. we were in session. I got it. And uh, she said she had intended to come to the meeting tonight to apologize us that she could not. But she wanted um, us to bring up the fact that DES is looking for input on some draft manuals. The wetlands BMP manual, the utility BMP manual, roadway BMP manual, and agriculture and wetlands BMPs. Um, and just send, you'll see the message from her, but I wanted to just say this at the meeting. These are things that, um, if anybody Yeah, you get that on your phone. Right. Right. Do that. And last question from Leanne Gass regarding tomorrow's meeting on the LREC grant. She wanted to know which entity would apply for the grant. Whose tax ID would be? Would it be the conservation commission. commission or the town? Town. Wouldn't it be the town? Yeah. 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 We would be the agency, but the town would have the, the, the umbrella. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Okay. That, thank you. Okay. I, um, I just have one thing. I'll try to be so quick. Um, so the Ledge Farm Road is up to be paved or mm -hmm. approved? In, in the entirety, even though it's scen a scenic road. Right. So do we have any opinions as a conservation commission? Or... Um, I plan on being at the town meeting, but um, I know there's a lot of conservation land out there, sensitive wetlands, 
Phoenix Road. At the bottom line is I, I talked with one of the um, select board members and it is more cost effective um, to, to tar roads because down the road, no pun intended, maintenance is easier. So it seems like um, cost, but it seems like there are issues that are well beyond dirt versus tar. They're going to widen it. I think people are worried about they're going to widen it. Yeah, straighten well, it. They are going to widen it. They've already and widened it. They're going to do what they, they did to Stevens Hill Road. They've, they've widened the whole they've, thing. They've widened the whole thing. And the people that are now managing it since the new town, uh, the person that managed that road isn't there anymore. Mm -hmm. They've hired two Deerfield uh, people that are doing that, and they're making it, you know, they're continuing to sort of move it out. Yeah. And in the process, they took that stream before, and they they basically plow it so wide it goes, covers the uh, pipe. Culvert. Culvert. Mm -hmm. And so... Did our, our letter on roads, I mean, this is a, a perfect example. I, I asked... Um, yeah, I did too. One but. of the Board of Selectmen, and they indicated they did not remember seeing that letter. And if it just went to Chris, so the request from this particular board member was that any future letters that go are addressed not just to Chris, but also to the chair of the Board of Selectmen. Well, okay, just or to the chair as opposed to just the BOS. So so it, it gets sent to Chris, and it's, it's really for the BOS, but they don't always get to the BOS, and they don't always get to the BOS in a timely manner. So mm -hmm. anything in the future that should be addressed to the so it goes to the BOS, but goes to, to Chris, uh, perhaps to Dawn, and then also to, to the chair, directly to the chair, so that they are all receiving copies of those. So this is just an example of the intersection between roads and natural resources and water quality. Mm -hmm. I'm just worried about So I would resend that letter. It's going to happen. And to all of them. Yeah. Can you do that, Sam? Yeah, you want me to resend it to yeah. you, and then you can send it along? Okay. That road, Ledge Road, is the road I used to go to, uh, to Epping, to get my mail to P.O. Box. But, but specifically and it's to one of the most heavily traveled, yeah. and it's one of the hardest to manage, because it's got that, when you go down the first part of it, before you get down to the easement we have, there's a real turn there, and it, it turns like this and goes down, and it's dirt, and they can't when it starts melting and snowing and doing all that stuff, it's really not passable because you're going up and making that same turn. And so their solution is to make it hot top for that part of it so that people, and they built some new houses back up in there. So those people are all, that's their major route. So there's pressure them to do that and well that's what happened with ledge farm when they when they put in rocky hill that, that yeah. they were required to pave that they section made the developer pay for it but right but, but the road also got widened and then what was downhill from there had run off from the section of the road which right at the junction from the section of the road to dirt it gets heavily eroded yeah it does yeah it's uh, steep i had trouble getting up it a couple of times but it used to be yeah. impassable yeah, yeah, I wondered that because everybody that. seemed to know, sure and a lot of them have it. four, you know, all-wheel drive vehicles, and they can go up it. And but a regular small car, it, really, and can't. it was a rough road in the winter. It's a ledge right in the middle of the road. But way so back, people put up with the rough roads in the yes. winter. It's like, okay, there's a few houses. But there's a lot of wetlands in there. Drive, there's some vernal pools. There's a stream that comes along that side, and I think it's part of living there. But it's part of the watershed. That's but this can happen. Do we have anything yeah. more critical to cover? Yeah. Nine a.m. Right. Okay. So, so well, I, I make a I motion that we adjourn. Five, so. Oh God, that's even worse. Second. 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 Oh, oh yeah. Okay. All in favor. All in favor. Aye. 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 Aye.